In today's video, let's go to a beach where crocodiles roam and to a place widely considered the most dangerous beach in the world. But first, let's visit a beach so creepy you wouldn't want to go there. Number 10. The Skeleton Coast There is a very good reason for the Skeleton Coast's ominous name. All along this terrifying beach in Namibia in southwestern Africa, you see the hulks of dead ships, ancient and modern. You cannot help but reflect on the fate of the shipwrecked sailors. In many cases, what remains of their vessels now stands far back from the sea, partly covered in sand. Sometimes these relics are almost entirely buried and all you can see is a mast. Countless more have vanished altogether, with every trace hidden by both sand and water. What must have befallen their crews in the days before radio and airborne rescue requires little imagination. Sand, salt pan, and arid mountains stretch inland for a hundred miles. Away from the sea, there is little or no water and no kind of sustenance, it would seem. You do see an animal every now and then, making you wonder how such a thing could survive in such an arid and lifeless environment. Needless to say, any hapless sailor marooned here doesn't stand a chance. Number 9. Steers Beach and Chowpati Beach I've decided to lump these two beaches together, like two turds one on top of the other, and you'll soon see why. While most of the dangerous beaches on our list are also some of the most beautiful, the beaches on number 9 won't win any beauty pageants. In fact, one look at these filthy bodies of water is enough to deter any potential swimmers. Steers Beach is frequently on the EU's swimming prohibited list. This beach was known for its garbage, but it has been cleaned up in recent years. However, farm sewage drains into the harbor, raising the water pollution levels to an unsafe level. Swimming in said waters can cause diarrhea, E. coli, meningitis, typhoid, and hepatitis A. Chowpati, on the other hand, oddly enough, is popular among tourists even though it is dangerously polluted with an ungodly combination of untreated sewage, garbage, and sunken coal seeped into its water and sand. This was one of the most toxic beaches not just in India but in the entire world, but things are looking up. A man named Afro Shah took it upon himself to clean the beach up, and he succeeded, removing 5 million kilograms of garbage in one of the biggest and most ambitious cleanup projects in the world. Number 8. Dumas Beach While most of the beaches on this list have earthbound reasons for being deadly, this next beach on our list presents a danger that may possibly emanate from the afterlife. Also, it's the only haunted beach on this list, and as far as I know, the only haunted beach in the world. Located along the Arabian Sea, Dumas Beach is considered one of the most haunted places in Gujarat. The beach is renowned for two things, one for its black sand giving it an ominous look and the other for being extremely haunted. It's said that Dumas Beach was once used as a Hindu burial ground and hence is possessed by several haunting spirits that never left the region. Folklore explains that the existence of black sand is because of the amount of ash created by burning the dead, which got mixed with white sand of the beach and turned dark in shade. Number 7. Playa Zipolite The west coast of Mexico has a unique, untamed beauty that is difficult to find anywhere else in the country, or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Nowhere is that more true than in the southern beach town of Zipolite, where travelers flock to explore rocky hillsides and rugged coast. In fact, Playa Zipolite has often been voted one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Whether or not the fact that it's also Mexico's only nude beach adds to its popularity, however, I can only speculate. But don't get too comfortable skinny dipping in its waters, though. Playa Zipolite literally translates to Beach of the Dead. So many people have lost their lives on this shoreline that a special lifeguard team has been set up there. The killer here isn't really a mystery. The beach's giant waves create extremely dangerous undercurrents, which pull swimmers out into the water. Fortunately, thanks to the vigilance of the lifeguard team, the number of drownings there have dropped significantly in recent years, but that still doesn't negate the danger entirely. Number 6. Hana Kapi'i Beach Hana Kapi'i Beach is undeniably beautiful, boasting of golden sands, black cliffs, and endless blue sea. But beware of succumbing to the temptation of this Kauai paradise. The alluring waters of this beach are home to incredibly strong riptides, which have pulled many unknowing swimmers to their deaths. The cause of the danger? A lack of natural coral reef protecting the area. Because of the perilous nature of this beach, there is no main access road to the beach, requiring thrill-seekers to navigate formidable boulders and switchbacks over streams and waterfalls, which should be a clear indication that no one should actually swim there. 
For a more overt warning, there is even a sign on the beach that claims more than 80 people have drowned there. Although I couldn't find any official records of the death toll, some websites mention that there have been approximately 30 verified cases in the last 50 years. In any case, 30 is still a large number. The beach is on the other side of the Hanakapi stream, a river that is much better suited for swimming than the nearby beach. Number 5. Fraser Island The beaches of Fraser Island pose risks whether you're in the water or on the beach. Its deadly beaches are home to practically everything you want to avoid if you're trying to stay alive. In fact, rescue helicopters are frequently flown into the area to save visitors who find themselves in a variety of medical emergencies. But why the need for the helicopters? Well, there is no place on the island where tourists can get immediate medical attention, not even a first aid tent. In recent years, the island has become overwhelmed with irukanji, one of the most venomous types of jellyfish in the world. People stung by these tiny sea creatures may experience symptoms including abdominal pain, vomiting, sweating, anxiety, hypertension, pulmonary edema, and in extreme cases, fatal cardiac arrest. Over the past few years, several irukanji attacks have been reported on the island. And if you think you'll be able to find safety on land, think again. The island is also home to 25 to 30 packs of dingoes, a type of dog native to Australia that has been known to attack humans. Number 4. The Seven Mile Miracle The Seven Mile Miracle is precisely what it sounds like. A 7-mile or 11.2-kilometer stretch of sandy beaches delivering the most important surf spots in the history of surfing. And the miracle? Well, it's a miracle every time someone comes out of its waters alive. According to the book Surfing Hawaii, there are 36 surf spots in the 7-mile miracle. For the fearful and fearless, beach breaks, reef breaks and point breaks, left and right handers, mushy and tubular waves, Hawaii's Seven Mile Miracle is truly surfer's paradise. Heaven on earth with its particular characteristics and its classic hazards. It is also one of the most dangerous surf breaks on earth. The lifeguards who patrol the beaches make upward of a thousand saves per year, sometimes as many as 30 in one day. While most of the incidents are cases of drowning or near drowning, there are some cases of concussions as well, caused by surfboards smashing into their riders' heads. Couple that with a few incidents of shark attacks, then you really have the perfect recipe for danger, making the Seven Mile Miracle live up to its reputation as the most dangerous beach in the world. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Did you honestly think that crocodile attacks don't happen on beaches? Oh, how wrong you are. Find out about this place and the dangers beneath its waters next. Number 3. Cape Tribulation Swimming in the waters of Cape Tribulation in Australia and coming out of it alive and uninjured is definitely a cause for celebration. That is because of the many inherent dangers of swimming there. From October to early June, warm water brings thousands of crystal clear box jellyfish around Cape Tribulation. These particular jellyfish are so potent because their venom attacks the cardiovascular system and can cause swimmers to drown before reaching land for help. Tour guides in the area tell tourists that if you were touched by one, it would only take minutes to kill you. If the jellyfish weren't dangerous enough, there are also crocodiles. They hide out in both shallow and deep waters near the ocean or in the freshwater creeks, so you really have to be on the lookout at all times, even though I'm pretty sure they'll see you before you see them. They are super fast, very aggressive, and have been known to pull down a cow before. Number 2. Hands by Beach in South Africa, there are a lot of beaches known to be very dangerous because of the sharks prowling its waters. And if shark-infested beaches are the topic of conversation, the beach located on the territory of the town of Hansby definitely needs a special mention. This coastal stretch is also known as the Great White Shark Capital of the world, and with good reason. For many years, the coast has built a reputation for being a habitat for these extremely dangerous marine animals. There have been incidents wherein inexperienced tourists were injured by the sharks, and that is despite many of the cautionary signs littering the coast, which are mostly ignored by recreation seekers. Many tourists even find these dangers exciting. Kansby is rich in the underwater attractions that can be discovered within its coastal waters, so this area is very popular with the divers. Although some of them are terrified of the possibility of swimming under the water next to a great white shark, other divers think this special feature as additional incentive for the long journey. Number 1. New Smyrna Beach 
Located on Florida's central Atlantic coast, New Smyrna is a charming beach town rooted in local culture, art, and a beautiful white sand shoreline. Known for its coastal architecture and personality, New Smyrna Beach is a prime location for surfers, as well as visitors looking for a laid-back community filled with hidden adventures. New Smyrna Beach, however, holds a more ominous title, the shark capital of the world. Since somebody decided to keep a tally of shark attacks back in 1882, New Smyrna Beach has been the location of over 240 separate shark attacks and the number is constantly rising. In 2008 alone, an incredible 24 shark bites and attacks were recorded at the beach. Swimmers and surfers constantly come back to the area though, and there seems to be one very good reason for this. Although a huge number of attacks have occurred, so far none of them have actually been fatal. If you want to swim in safety though, New Smyrna Beach is definitely not for you. Although shark attacks have been less frequent of late, New Smyrna Beach still remains one of the scariest beaches in the world. See you guys next time!